Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Transport Fever 2. Here's our town, Carrollton. We're doing fairly good. But I have to admit, uh, between or since last episode, I played on a bit, pursued some pretty aggressive expansion, and got in way over <laughs> way over my head, ran into a bunch of financial trouble. And so I've actually just reloaded the save from the end of last episode. But I'll tell you, or we're going to, we'll go into a little bit about kind of what happened there. But I think what we need to do, first let me hit play so we can keep moving. Um, we need to go after some of our traffic problems. We've got issues over here where we're producing the, we're sending logs over from the forest into the lumber mill. You can see we've got a huge traffic back up here. And then what else? We've got a little bit of an issue here at this intersection. We may come back and visit that. I think that's kind of secondary to the problem we've got over here, dropping off the logs. And then for our oil refining, we've got a little bit of a backup here. Not too bad. Um, nothing wrong with picking up the crude oil. That looks fine. Dropping it off at the refinery looks okay. And then we run into a little bit of traffic on this intersection, dropping that refined oil over to the um, the other refinery, the fuel refinery. And then it looks like the path into town is fairly unhindered. So the big problem is over here. Let's go after this, this episode. And what we're gonna do is expand our truck station. And now between episodes, when I ran into all these problems, I learned a bunch about how these truck stations operate, how we can expand them. Um, but it's important to note kind of the logistics here of how things happen. I, we may have mentioned this last episode, but the trucks will always pick up and drop off on their right side. That guy just, I think, what did he do? He just picked up a couple lumber. And then these guys on the other side are dropping off logs. And because they can only load, unload from their right side, they're coming up and doing a loop. Now, once a truck or a, you know, a carriage, whatever, a vehicle has dropped off or picked up a load, it will always travel counterclockwise around these little platforms. So always, they always go kind of counterclockwise. So these guys cannot go and turn, take a right turn and go this way, even if they wanted to, even if I set a route for them to do that, I don't think they're, they're able to do it. So what we want to do with this station, we look, we've got two lines coming in, one for planks, and we've got one for logs, right? And you'll notice they're kind of swapped. The logs kind of go off to the right here, but we're using the platform on the left. And then the, the um, <laughs> the planks are off to the left here, but we're using the platform on the right. But let's fix that first. Let's do that. We'll go back. Let's see. I'll just click here. Go to terminals and let's switch these. Let's put logs on terminal two and put planks on terminal one. That'll swap pretty much automatically. We don't lose any cargo or anything. It looks like it just made the change pretty fast. And now what we want to do if we can help it, or if we can, let's see, these guys are, I think, adjusting to the new, their new route. This should all normalize here in a minute. What we'd like to do, rather than having these trucks backed up, we'd like to add some more platforms. That we can then split the number of trucks going to each platform. So we can do that. If you click here and hit configure. And we go to cargo. We can add another platform. Let's do it. Boom. And now we know that trucks are going to go counterclockwise around here. Whoops. No, this way. Yeah. So they can come this way and go around. Come around this way. Pick up their load from this platform. Come around and exit. And so let's do that. Let's get, we need to add, I think we need to add stuff here in anyway. No, this is, sorry. 
We're dropping off logs there. We still need to add trucks to pick up logs. So let's create a new route that's going to go ahead and drop off logs at the second platform that we just added. So we'll do a line, new line, pick up here, drop off here, and we'll call this one. Uh, let's see. Carrollton Road Logs to Sawmill. I'm going to say that's Logs to Sawmill 2, and then the original one. Logs to Lower Daily City. Let's change to our newer naming convention here. Carrollton Road Logs to Sawmill 1. How's that? Yep. Okay. So those are stacked together and let's make sure that that line is using the third terminal. So this guy, we want to move to terminal three and let's add some trucks to that line or I'm going to keep calling them trucks. Eventually there'll be trucks right now. They're carriages. Yeah. I don't think I have any in the depot. Let's buy vehicles, cargo, Let's start with six of these. We'll put them on that sawmill line two. While we're waiting for those guys to come along, I'll hit double speed here. That'll, that'll speed it up a little bit. But the other thing we can do with these stations in order to manage the traffic, we can come into configure and we can add entrances and exits. So rather than have them all coming in and out of this exit here, what we might want to do is put an entrance here. Boom. And that will allow trucks to come into this entrance and come right to that platform or continue on into the second entrance and come onto that platform. They're both still going to come out the same exit and kind of cross over. That is kind of maybe step one of improving it. I think these are new. No, that's not a new one. These are new guys. Blanks. Nope. Where are they? Here's our new trucks coming, our new um, wagons. They got to go all the way to get the logs. We're not going to see anything different here. What we can do, let's move some of these guys over to the new line. We can divide it up a little bit. We'll grab some of these guys and just change them over to use Sawmill 2. Okay, now we're seeing some of them use it. Now we're still going to have issues. Look here. So more trucks are coming, more carriages are coming in, but it's just clogging up our one exit route out of here. So now we want to think about how can we, how can we improve the exiting? And you can see these trucks as they come in. I'm going to keep calling them trucks. These cargo, these... Wagons, as they come in, they are going counterclockwise. That's the only way they can go. However, if we want, we can add... I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm just kind of experimenting as we go. We can add exits out here, too. Right? If we add an exit, now these guys coming in this way can drop off their product here. At the platform on the right and then head straight on out. But now the challenge is where do we want to connect this road, the exit road, so that we're not having to cross traffic. The only way I can think to do that is to loop this around and then bridge over the road and then join up this way so that they're never having to cross traffic. I don't think, I don't know if there's a better way to do it than that. Because anywhere there's an intersection like this, right? We've got 
carriages that are waiting. Yep, gotta, I think they have to wait for that one. Or maybe they're just waiting on this guy. These, yeah, these carriages, right? They're all blocking this traffic from coming into the terminal. The ones that are going back to the, to the log supply. So we'd like to find a way not to have that be the situation. I think we could loop this around, ramp over this, and then join up. Then they wouldn't impede this traffic, and they'd all be able to enter into the right lane here. Just trying to think if that is something we want to do. Why don't we add one more terminal? These aren't super expensive, I don't think. What are these? Uh, does it say? 26,000. They're not cheap. Let's add one more just to test this out. We'll do the street access thing. We'll put another entrance in. It needs to be to the left of these platforms. That can go there. This isn't cheap to do. And then we want an exit here. And because they're going counterclockwise, they can never really get over into this area. Let's see. We can get a road going here. Okay, 25 miles an hour for the small country road. Two lane with a speed of 37. Oh boy. Are these much more expensive? Does it say? Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's pull a road around this way. In fact, let me escape that. Let's do the curved road. I haven't tried that yet. Oh, I see. I think we have to give it multiple points, maybe? Curved. Not sure how we use these. There must be a trick to it. Okay, continue on. Maybe. What that is. Fix slope. Hmm. Oh, that's for us if we want to go up and down. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is with the curved road. Anyway, let's do this. There we go. Now it's curving. I see. Sure. Let's go back to you straight. I want to actually come up over the top of this road. So I don't know that I can do a bridge with dirt. Let's see what it, what it says. Yeah, that's just going to mound up. We're going to need to switch over to paved. Whoops, that's underground. Let's grab a paved road. Again, I'm just experimenting. We may ditch this. Go with this one, 25 miles an hour. I need to come up over the top of this guy. That's down. This is up. And I'm using the period and I guess it's the comma to go up or down. Go up one more. And what we want to do is come down and join this road, really. Go out a little bit more. Not cheap. Let's try that for the heck of it. And then let's hook these guys up with country roads. see what we can do. Now I notice they're kind of stopping at this intersection even when they there's room. So 
So we'll see if we can fix that as well. These guys are dropping off logs. I have to go counterclockwise. I think I need one more road. I may... Or one more exit. Right there. Station exit. Construction not possible. Station entrance, station exits. Not sure if it's conflicting with the road or not. Let's bulldoze some of the road if we need to. Take out this section. See if we can get one more station exit here. Does not like it there, huh? That's kind of confusing. Let's bulldoze this one just to see if that's causing any kind of conflict. Exit. Let's bulldoze some more. Take this little section of road out. See if we can get the third exit now on the station. Okay, that seemed to work. Now let's get normal roads. Uh, we'll go with these level twos if we can. That worked. It's a little silly looking, but it worked. All right, these guys are still choosing to loop on down through this exit. What we want to do now is maybe put a waypoint over here. Let's try that, and then we can add that to the route and hopefully force them to take this, this path. So we'll look at Terminal 2 here. Let's, uh... Terminal 2 is Sawmill 1. Lardy logs to road logs to Sawmill 1. Let's look at that route. Manage the line. And once they've gone to Lower Daily City, we want to add a stop. I want them to go here. So let's see what that line looks like. I think there's a way. Yeah, if I click the line, so now look at it. Now, there shouldn't even be a merge here later. Right now, they're kind of merging onto the right lane. Look at the route. They pick up the logs, come straight through, never turn into traffic, come right through this particular um, terminal, back around, no cutting across traffic, no one's impeded. So that's one option. I mean, this is kind of a, <clears throat> a pretty ugly implementation of it. That kind of worked. Let's, uh... Interesting. That is interesting. These guys are dropping off. This is actually the Terminal 3 route. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, so we have Sawmill 1 somehow moved to the Terminal 4. I didn't intend for that to happen, but it, it's fine. Let's move this guy just for the heck of it over to Terminal 2. And they can take either this road in, because this is counterclockwise, and come up, or they can come in this road. We'll see what they decide to do. Looks like they're taking the far road. I 
think we have some leftover guys here that are just kind of lost. Let's look at the route again. Same dynamic. We're not crossing anywhere. Straight on through the cargo station. I think that's the last thing that'll be in our way, actually. We're going to fix the plank one, too. They're coming in on a different direction. So we'll set it up so nobody is crossing over each other. There's a little bit of an issue here, I see, where they're both coming in, but we're going to take care of that. All right. Let's look at the other log route we have. This guy is doing strange things. Coming up, dropping off logs at the second terminal, and then looping them back around. We want to avoid that, so we'll just add the waypoint to this route as well. Boom. You manage the line. As you go to Daily City, drop off go here okay now we've cleaned up that line you can take a look at it comes through goes through nicely doesn't cross over anybody no intersections and then just merges back in and there shouldn't be any traffic coming this way on this road that's a leftover and then we've got the option to add a third terminal, which we might. Now, we're going to have to do the same thing over here. You can see this guy is all backed up. So we'll do something similar there. But while we're working on this particular truck station, we're making money, by the way, too. Let's pay off some debt. Boom, boom. Okay. Let's pay off a million there. These guys, they could be entering from... We said they can only travel counterclockwise, right? So they can come across here. Let's see. This is a one way right now. We could make this a two way and let them come in that way. And they come this way. This, if they came in from this direction, that would be clockwise. So they can't do that. They can come in from this side and then merge over. So this might make sense to have it be a two lane. Let's do it. Let's remove that. Look here. Think. 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 Let's hit configure C. Yeah, there's this. If I put an entrance here, they will not be able to access this terminal. What they'll do is go all the way around. Loop, 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 loop. Like that. They have to travel counterclockwise around. So we want to delete this guy. Wait till that truck goes by. We want this to be road access, if I can do it. Okay, they're not letting me. I must have to... Maybe I got to delete the road first? I see it's showing something up here. But this is a little tricky. Can I just upgrade that? Nope. All right, they're going to make me bulldoze some more stuff than I want to. Okay, whoops, we don't want to bulldoze that whole thing. Come into here, configure, bulldoze. Doesn't let me do it. They're, it's conflicting with this over here somehow. Okay, now they let me do it. I'm sure I'm going to have to delete that, but let's see if what we can put back. We want... Street access here. And I still want my exit there if I can get it. Station exit there. Boom. Because there's a collision. Let's back out. It's a little tricky. For sure. If we can get the exit back. Okay. That took... And that's okay. They can share that road. That's fine. We can connect this one back up with the normal road. That to that is fine. And now, what we might do, let's, uh, let's add a terminal. We may not use it yet, but I want to add it just because this is so 
finicky. Add a terminal there. Add a an egg. No, this is gonna be an entrance here. Get to that one. Then this needs to be an exit. And then we need a road that kind of goes escape out of this and just see what we got so far. These guys all have a way out. We can add a third line to deliver the logs and we probably will. That's all taken care of and then get out this exit too. Now the guys picking up the planks. We want them coming in from this side and then making their way back. And I think they should be good. Now they're going to cut in front of each other here. Just like when they're exiting or they're returning. Oh, what is going on here? Yeah, we're going to have to fix what's over there. We're still getting a bottleneck, but now it's at the log station. But what I was saying is these guys are exiting, returning back to their supply. And that's where we had to ramp. This time we actually have to ramp when we're coming into this place. So what we can do... We want to turn off and then ramp over. Let's kill off some of this road that we don't need. It's potentially in the way. Don't get any money for that. And we want to get a road. We can start with dirt road, I think. Then we got to go to this road, I believe, in order to ramp up over this. Get the period key, no. Period to go up, comma, or, um, yeah, comma to go down. Let's see, I'll zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. come down as soon as we can hit the comma we're down here at ground level back to the second level dirt road straight through here then we can do the first level dirt road just to branch into this entrance okay and now we want to rework we need a um we're gonna need a waypoint plunk that down here Let's bring up the route for the planks. Or the line for the planks, I should say. So currently, they're doing this thing up, looping around, and down and out. We don't want them, if we can help it, intersecting with this line here. Because it slows it down, like that, that wagon just had to stop. So we want them coming in from the top. So before they get to Lower Daily City... Before they get there, how can I do that? I guess that would be here. Boom. Okay, so you see what we did there. Let's uh, take a look. Now these guys come with the plant with the uh, empty truck. Take the ramp up over. Don't have to cut across traffic. Come straight through the station. They're not intersecting with traffic. And then head back on the ground road all the way back. So that should flow pretty smooth. Right now, we're doing, I think, okay on that. In fact, there's no access product anywhere. That's probably because of this mess. So we fixed the congestion here, I believe. Well, let's see if we can do something similar over here. Um, it's going to look... Pretty familiar, I think. We know we need more stations. This whole area is just about picking up logs. 
what we might do is just skip this first platform altogether just for consistency and expand this station out. So let's try that. Let's get at least two more platforms if there's room. We can always move this road if we have to. That would be three platforms. Let's be bold. We'll go for four. I like there's room for that. We need all our entrances. This one, we may be okay to do a simple loop. We'll see how this works. We'll see how it works. Not sure. Street access, entrance. And I could be making some obvious mistakes. I'm just... I'm still learning for sure. I'm going to escape out of here. I'm going to take out some of this road. I think this is causing us issues. Figure. Let's take out the one they made and see if we can't get three simple entrances as best we can. Like that. Escape out of that one. Get back to the regular roads. We'll try the double thick. That might... That looks like that connects. We'll see if that actually works. We'll see if that works. Let's move... Or let's get our exit going, too. So I think those are entrances. Let's get the exits. Exit... Here, 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 and here. Then we can put a road, a regular road down. Let's do that. Double. I'll leave some room in case we want to expand the station. We can always rework a lot of this stuff too if we need to. Okay, no bridge necessary for this one doesn't look like okay now let's start allocating these guys to different platforms we're going to get rid of terminal one so let's move this guy to three, this guy to two. We're gonna leave terminal one blank. I don't know if we pay maintenance on that or not. And now we just gotta decide, do we wanna let these guys do their U-turn and go back out? Or should they all come out the top? Let's have them all come out the top. So we'll put a waypoint on that route. Boom, boom, boom. And let's go into these routes. So once you visited Daily City South. Ooh, it looks like I've already got a waypoint on here. I think. Oh, that's for the other side. That's fine. We want that. Once you visited, once you picked up the logs, I want you to exit out this way. So Daily City South, the next place I want you to go is here. Boom. We'll do that same thing for the other line. I'll just escape out, get to this manage line. Daily City South. The next stop should be over here. Boom. And they're choosing to use the same entrance. So I'm going to say before you get to Daily City South, that's down here. Uh, oh, maybe these aren't connected. Let's try. Let's see if we can uh, do a better job connecting these with the regular road. It could that could be our problem. I'm not sure. Actually, not possible. Okay. Try that again. We may have to move this road a little bit lower. Let's do it. Let's take that road out. I think there's some kind of issue here. I mean, it looks like they should connect. I could try to put a waypoint here, but it's so narrow. Let's see if I can put a waypoint on these, um, on these entrance roads. I don't think I can. 
be nice if I could. Yeah, they won't let me do it. I can kind of do it here, I guess. I don't even know what... No, that's on this road. Let's keep experimenting. We're going to pull this road out. <clears throat> I'm going to extend these out a little bit. Uh, just with Country Road. So this guy's going to come straight out. The reason I'm doing this is I can put waypoints on these little roads that I'm extending right now. Okay, let's get our big road and just kind of come through here roughly if it lets me. Hmm. Right this direction. Maybe. Okay, we've now we've seen they're starting to take advantage of that little connection there. <clears throat> we've still got a backup here. Not quite sure what the backup is now. Might just be getting used to the new routes. Let's take some of these guys and put them on the Sawmill 2 route. We'll balance this in a bit. This is look, starting to look a little fishy. Something's not quite right. Okay, Carolina logs to Sawmill 1. The route looks fine. I think the route looks fine. Let's see if I can do anything. Trigger this guy to move. I send him back to the depot. Do that. See if these other guys pick up. There's no logs being supplied here. That's the concern. Let's file this route all the way through and make sure that it can get everywhere it's supposed to get. looks like it can, although, what is this back up? Wow. Backed all the way up. Not sure what the problem is here. That looks like a decent route to me, or a decent line. Take a look at it. Daily City South. See the waypoint two, that's up there. One, two. And third stop is here. Terminal five. Yeah, I'm not sure what the holdup is here. Escape out of this, see if we can debug this. I'll go to single speed. We're making money, I'm going to pay off the debt. I'm going to actually go into the calendar here and pause the progression while we're doing this debugging. Just so we don't, you know, we don't end up wasting our time with the carriages before they get upgraded to new technology. Kind of want to enjoy these for a bit before they're gone. What is this guy's concern? He doesn't have anything to pick up. And the only reason we would not be getting supply, as far as I know, is because they think they can't drop off the product. The route looks fine.
Let's send some of these guys to the depot and just see if this thing resets itself. I'm not real sure what's going on here. Maybe we can reset these guys to all mail two instead. I'm not sure why we're not getting logs being supplied. Now I gotta guess that these are all in range. Oh, you know what? They're not. We gotta connect this road up. I think that's our problem. We disconnected a road. Jeez. Guys gotta be connected back up. Let's do something a little bit big goopy. If you insist, will that still be connected up or not? Probably not. Ugh. All right, country road here, maybe? Doesn't like it. Let's get out the bulldozer, see if we can make this look better. sure why that doesn't connect. That's strange to me. But we need it kind of close. Otherwise, it's going to not register as being able to reach the uh, this thing. Interesting. About as direct as I can make it. I don't know if we're out of range now. That's what I'm concerned about. Nope. I think I just saw some logs pop here. I think we're okay now. Yeah, this has to be connected by road. Yeah, okay. We're now starting to supply logs. We can still move some of these guys over to... The Sawmill 2 route. Again, we'll balance these in a minute. Let's just try and get this traffic flowing. These guys are leaving with logs, so we're doing it. I'm able to. That guy should... Sawmill 2 is on Terminal 3. So let's look at that route. This guy, and let's put a waypoint saying you guys need to take this little side road here to come in. Try it. Try it. We'll try it. It's right here. That is for... Sawmill 2, manage the line. Before you get to Daily City South. Daily City Waypoint 1. Then I want you to go over here. Boom. And take there, or that route in. So you're not crowding this terminal. We'll see if that balances out. Then we obviously want to get another line going. This guy says we're a little bit oversupplied. This station is totally cleared out now. Which is good. I think good to see. But we need to move, move more product. How are we doing satisfying the town? Let's take a look. This is tools. We're only at 70%. There's room for more. Look at the fuel. We're doing awesome on that one. We're making money. Let's pay off more debt. We are officially out of debt. Not bad if we accomplish nothing else this episode. That's not bad. 
All right, let's come back down in here, see if we can't get this figured out. These guys are all going to Sawmill 1. Let's divert some of these to Sawmill 2. Okay, that guy's taking a weird route out. You saw what he did there? But let's fix that. We want them leaving on this little leg here so they're not, again, blocking traffic in the station, in the cargo station. So that is Sawmill 2. Uh, first, got to put a waypoint down. Do it. There. We can put one here, too. Here, might as well. Same thing down here. This done. Waypoint there and a waypoint here. We'll go back to the route display to manage the line. And instead of looping around that way like crazy, as soon as you leave Daily City South, go to here. Okay, now you can see we're starting to divide up the traffic a little bit. Let's add a third line. New line, this is... Um, come to the station, pick up your logs. Leave here. <laughs> leave here doesn't really matter i think that one would suffice down i'm over to this station maybe we're gonna have to move these over or we could just have it use this first one we don't have anybody coming over here yet From there and i need a waypoint over here okay that all looks good i think that's us i think that's that's the route Let's call it Carrollton Road Logs to Sawmill. Great. Bam. And then let's assign that the right terminal here. We want that on terminal. There's one, there's two. We want it on three. Move that to three. And now we can take a look at that new route. Maybe, yeah, you can kind of see what it's going to do. Okay, we got to update where they kind of pull in. We want them to pull in way over here. So I left that part off. Manage the line. So after they hit Daily City Waypoint 1... We want to add a stop, which is this waypoint. Bam. Now that's looking a little better, I think. Right? There's the route. Or I think, what if I go here? Do we see them all? Here, we see them all. They split off. One, two, three. And they never cross. Right, they jump over each other here so they don't cut in front of each other. Same thing going on over here. Let's see how it's doing. This one looks a little backed up. Let's try and balance these lines, actually. Let's go into the vehicle manager, balance these lines, then we'll call it an episode. Now I'm going to expand this so we can see. We'll sort by line. Uh, let's go to... This guy has 30. Two has 21. Three has zero. <laughs> okay. So 30. Let's take 10 of these. Put them on line three. Bam. Okay, now this guy's got 20. 
This guy's got 21. Let's take one of these. Move it over to Sawmill 3. Logs of Sawmill 3, rather. 20, 20, 11. Let's add nine more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But oh, we may have some in the depot. Do we have any in the depot? Let's add these three. Sawmill 3. Now let's see how many we've got. 14. Let's add six more. So we'll just do the duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six selected. I'm on sawmill three. Boom. Now each one of those lines has 20. There's still a bit of a backup here. But it might, that might clear. Let's go double speed for a little bit before we end the episode and just see if this ends up clearing. Bring up the line display. Uh, we're missing a waypoint. Missing a waypoint on the third one. We want them to come in over here if we can. So let's add the waypoint. Probably has to be here. Right there. Let's go ahead and pick the route. We can do it from here. And then basically right before they get to Lower Daily City, we want them stopping here. Lower Daily City, we want you guys to go right, boom. And then we need to make sure this is at the right terminal. I don't know if that moved on its own. We want three on Terminal 3. Okay. There we go. That looks like what we want to see. One, two, three. And nobody crossing anybody. There's a little merge here, but that's fine. Let's see how this plays out. We're at double speed. Let's see these guys. There's 20 carriages on each one of these lines delivering the logs. And they should, in theory, balance out over time. That guy just took a very strange route. Okay, it could be they're getting used to their new their new route. Yeah, they're traveling counterclockwise, so they're able to travel this way on this bottom road and then across that way. I think that is going to self-correct. Carrollton logs to Sawmill 3. Let's just double check that route. Yeah, they are eventually going to just go straight on up and out. They won't cut over like this. But these carriages are probably left over. They... They're remembering their old route. These guys are the new carriages that we purchased. That's why they're cutting across traffic. It's their first time in, I think. What are we doing? Look at this. This is way improved, looks like to me. And our carriages haven't made it yet to the new line, so that's why we've got an abundance of logs there waiting. It's a little goopy. We'll refine this maybe over time. I'm still learning the technique. Kind of cut off our ability to make use of this platform. We might just get rid of that. Again, this is an early iteration. We'll iterate on this design. Close that and just keep an eye on how it looks. I think we're going to be okay. I'm a little nervous about wagons stopping right here at the end of this road for no real reason. They should be able to just keep following each other. We'll see if that normalizes over time. Kind of an artificial stop there. There's one here as well. Yeah, they're stopping. They don't really need to. That may self-correct. I saw that before. And one time it just went away. Go 
going triple speed. We're making money. Let's see what we got here. Let's fix the ones that are in bad condition. Okay, we've got one that's in bad condition. Let's do manage vehicle. How do I change their maintenance setting? Boom, let's go to high. Let's select all. I don't know if I have, oh, I can do all the lines at once. Okay, here we go. Everything we got, select it all, and let's do maintenance medium, or high rather. That's gonna, you know, cut into our profits a lot, but I think it'll make everything a little more efficient. Got that artificial stop here. I'm not sure what that's all about. A little bit of an artificial stop here too at this intersection. I think that may recover like some of these now two went in a row there maybe that will recover a little back up here even could pull this road back if we wanted to that would give us some more lengthy cues. You can see it's already improved. I think it's already improving. It does seem like this road could come back further, doesn't it? Let's add, let's add a road. see hopefully I won't cut off our access to the uh, the factory but let's just see if this helps um, we need to build more road let's do the little guys here you to you that might even be enough to do it just that alone oops doesn't like it Well, right there. Then let's get rid of this tiny little section right there. That'll give us a little more room to queue up. Oh, we've got this artificial stopping here. That is slowing things down. Not sure if that's a bug in the game or if as I'm changing these routes that it kind of takes a little time for them to truly recover. Look at this station. They're flying through here. No problems. Back up getting out of here. There's no reason for that to be stopped. That should just float right on through. I'm going to let it run for a little bit longer. That's pretty much all we're going to do this episode. If you want to go ahead and sign off. I'm just going to monitor this a little bit longer. Concerned about these two kind of slowdowns here and here. That's what's holding us back right now. It's not the station. The station's ready for more trucks or more um, carriages. Looks like it might be starting to clear. Can't tell. I don't know if they've got to complete a full circuit or if I may need to upgrade this last little section of road. We could try that. Ooh, look at the exit. It's backing up. Again, it shouldn't. There's plenty of room. These guys could be bumper to bumper. Station is not backed up. It's waiting for more carriages. Yes, this backup is actually a little more concerning than the other one. Why they're not just constantly running.
That is slowing us down. I hate to add another intersection. I mean, we could branch off here and have some subset of them go straight across and some subset go lower. Still only seeing one go at a time out of this queue. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Dude, rebuild the road. Let's see if we can upgrade the road. That help. And okay, it looks like two car two vehicles at a time are kind of making it through every once in a while. Let's see. Maybe this will self-resolve. It is improving. Definitely improving. We're making a bunch of cash in the meantime, so this is all good. How's our town doing? Not too bad. Still growing, looks like. Yeah, I think it's improving. These wagons go a little slower up this hill, I notice. Okay, two went that time, one went that time, two went, <laughs> one went, two, one, two more, one. So we'll see. Maybe this will resolve over time, maybe it won't. I'm not sure what else we could do. I mean, we could upgrade to paved roads. We've got the cash. Why don't we do it just for the heck of it? Uh, 25 miles per hour, 37. Let's do... Too much slope. They're not going to let me upgrade that one. getting that artificial stopping there. It does look like they're going a little faster, doesn't it? I don't know. Do they perceive this as an intersection they have to wait on? Don't, that I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little confused about this slowdown here. Anyway, let's wrap that one here. We'll wrap this episode here. Not too bad. I think we cleared the log jam, so to speak. But I think every time I change something, the routes may need to recalculate and that causes a hiccup. That's a theory. I don't know if that's actually the case. We've got 60 trucks coming in through this station. And we're almost caught up. We're almost caught up. We're, we're starting to get rid of this overloaded situation. So that is good. That means we're delivering... We're keeping up with the demand, pretty much. A little bummed about this hiccup here. But I don't know how to solve it. 
theory, that should just be flowing. Now this side, these guys don't look like they're... Well, no, he still stops. This one, it's just about every two vehicles stop. That time, three went through. One, two, three... One, two, three. Now it's three at a time. We'll see. Maybe that'll improve. We can't really add any more vehicles to this line if that doesn't improve. I guess, yeah. Let's wrap it here. I'm going to keep going on and on. We'll pick it up in the next episode, right where we left off here. And maybe, yeah, we'll just monitor this line and then we'll look over at the uh, oil line and see what we can do over here. We know we've got a little bit of a backup here. We'll check on that next episode for analysis of glider kit saying thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.